LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. Okay, let's install your keys onto your keyboard. Start out by looking at the metal plates that are on your keyboard. You can see there's a metal hook on your to the right and a metal hook on the left also. Uh, make sure to look at the different keys because sometimes they can be positioned on the upper and bottom part instead of side to side. So the position of those pieces is going to determine the position of these pieces here. Um, that's uh, We're going to click these two pieces to make one piece now so we have to determine the position for both pieces first. Let's start out with the larger piece. You can see that um, it has two small sticks on the right upper and bottom corner and at the other side, at the left, it has two square looking sticks. Um, this uh, in the middle of the horizontal bars it has two holes also. That's how you're going to know not to put this piece upside down like that. If you have this piece upside down, you won't be able to see those holes that are in the middle of the top bar here and in the middle of the bottom bar right there. So make sure to, that you can see those. Now that you know the position for this piece, you uh, want to put it down in the right position get your next piece which is this here and it has two square looking sticks on the right two smaller sticks in the middle and a bar to the left now make sure not to put this piece upside down like that with um, you want to look at it sideways like this and you can see that the, bo the bar here to the left that's kind of uh, it's going downwards so that has to touch the keyboard don't you know don't put this piece um, where this bar here is going upward it has to be you know that bar has to actually touch the keyboard so now that you know the position for both pieces you put the small piece over the uh, larger piece and you just insert it in insert the um, the bar underneath the um, left bar of the larger piece then you make sure that the sticks in the middle click into the holes in the middle and there you go that it's one piece now so what you want to do is put this hole, this bar here into the uh, left hook just push down evenly and uh, after you have that what you want to do is push towards the other hook which is on this side here um, you have to stretch the whole piece. I use a blade and I put it at the bar, the last bar, and I stretch the whole plastic piece this way so that the metal hook can actually grab onto that plastic piece. There you go. Now, um, all you have to do is get your key. You 
if it's kind of uh, bouncing up like that, you have to make sure that the uh, the piece is right in the center. Sometimes it's going to be more to the left, sometimes more to the right. So push the plastic pieces underneath the hook a little better until it's the whole plastic piece is fat, uh, flat. Then you put your key right in the center and push down evenly. If you see that the key is down, you just push it back up and there you go. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys.